God's sake, Isla. Don't be such a spoiled sport. This is their last night. It could be ages and ages before I see him again. Will you listen to reason, Beth? Great stuff. Hey, good work. Oh, we're going out and drinking. We'll await outside, George. I won't be long, sweetheart. It couldn't have been much more wonderful than it has been. I promise you. Little rascal. I have to say, my little Miss Cork City, you've been a very quick learner. Methinks the pupil doth now surpass the master. Taken to it like a duck to water, you have. No regrets. Ready? George. I love you, George. Rascal. Come on. I didn't appreciate being left to my own devices, you know. Sorry, Ida. What did you say? For crying out loud, Beth, it's like trying to talk to the Sphinx. Sorry, Ida. I'm a bit tired. Don't you dream of telling me you're tired. I know only too well you're tired. Ida, do I look different? For God's sake, you give over. He said I took to it like a duck to water. Oh, Jesus, Mary Joseph. You shut up. You shut up, please stop. Come on, let's get a breath of fresh air. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen, looks like I'll have to go off to get help. You might even be here for the night. Particularly, oh, Mother. It's not our fault, is it? We'll telephone them. I haven't got his address either. Sure, what address would he give? They travel all the time, don't they? Oh, I should have made him give me some address. Stop worrying, will you? You're right. I know, I'll get the address of the company from the Opera House. They're bound to have it. You're right. any longer, I'm afraid, Beth. But Maeve has kept some of the roast for you. Where did you get mass, Beth? The bus broke down. And like I told you last night on the telephone. Are you telling your father and me you missed Sunday mass? It wasn't my fault. Anyway, I was a bona fide. Go on down to the kitchen, Beth. Maeve is waiting to go off to visit her sister. Welcome home, Beth. How was Dublin, Beth? Did you have a nice time, Beth? So you're home, are you? Oh, Maeve, I had the most wonderful time. Sorry about lunch. Catch, washing, all together in one bag. Are you proud of me? Oh, I nearly forgot. These are for you. Well, you're in pretty good form, I must say. Sorry they're not wrapped or anything. I'm sure you don't mind, do you? Lord, I ever see you 
again? What do you want to see me for? I've served my purpose. I brought you back to King Wesley, didn't I? That's what you wanted, wasn't it? Have you ever been in love, Peter? Me? Yes. Haven't you ever thought about it at all? Seems to me you, you could make some girl wonderfully happy. For God's sake, Beth, give the fella a chance. Sure, about it. Who hasn't? Well, if I could ever meet the right sort of girl. Yeah, well, where are you going to find her? Somebody that's real, somebody that's Just alive. Right. They don't come that way anymore. I never thought about it. Fridget, Fridget. I've, I've even been sucker enough to make plans. Excuse me. Back in a minute. Oh. Take me with you, Peter. Take me to your island. I want to do all those things you talked about. Fuck off, Beth. For God's sake. These days a body would have better fun with a banshee. Not that bad. Especially the last few weeks. You've been acting so strangely, and tonight you promised me. But you're not even trying. These are perfectly nice fellas. Face it, Beth. It's been too long. He's not going to write. I'm sorry, Ida. I suppose I've been a bit of a drip. I know it's not easy, but you've got to stop moping sometime. I do really have to go in here. Don't wait for me. None of your banishing tricks now, do you hear me? If you're not back in five minutes, woe betide you. Jesus in thee I trust. The night's young, girls. What do we do now? I've got a dreadful headache all of a sudden. I'm afraid I'm going to have to go home. But don't let me spoil the party. You three go on. At least let us walk into the bus. Eddie. No, not at all. Absolutely not. Eddie. Look, no, Jack. I'm sure Eddie's had quite enough of me this evening. I'm really sorry, Eddie. It's certainly nothing you've done or not done. I apologize to you all for spoiling your evening. Now go on, you'll all freeze to death standing here. It's raining. Wait! Beth! Wait! Beth! For God's sake, Beth, no man on the face of the earth I'm work pregnant! Goals. I can't think of what to say. How sure are you? Have you told your parents? You'll have to, Beth. There's no point in putting it off. They'll know soon enough anyway. Maybe it's not as bad as you think. Maybe they'll understand. The things I've heard about those Magdalene homes, I don't think I could stand it, Ida. I'm sure it's not as bad as you think. Times have changed. Have they? One thing for sure. Tomorrow you're going to the doctors. I'll go with you. It can't be Dr. Martin. Of course not. I'll be the first one in our class. Except for... That me. one was a wagon. There's no comparison, Beth. Don't even mention her in the same breath. Look, Beth. I'm sure there are other solutions we can think of. I certainly can't go to one of those hush-hush convents in England. We know nobody over there. Oh, Ida. I can't face telling them. I mean, maybe he'll write. Maybe somehow he couldn't write before. Oh, God, what will they say? Come on. Oh, shh. Don't cry. Look, how bad can it be? They're your parents, for God's sake. But you couldn't be. 
You're only 19. She couldn't be. I'm sorry, Daddy. I'm so sorry, Mummy. I really am. Excuse me. No, Mother, please. We don't need any more tea, Mother, please. Who's the father, Beth? You have to do the decent thing, of course. What's his name? Do we know him? I'll get in touch with his father. No. You won't, Daddy. That's my business. It's private. And as far as doing the decent thing is concerned, I'm assuming you're referring to him marrying me. I'm afraid that's not an option. Why ever not? Use whatever limited imagination you have, Sinchin. Married or not, you have to tell us who this man is, Beth. We demand you tell us. Demand, Sinchin? Demand? Since when did you demand anything of your daughter? Stop it, both of you. <laughs> Mummy. Daddy. Corinne. Shut up. Both of you, shut up. Where is this stupid woman? Never mind, Mother. I'll be out of your sight before you can say alter society. Beth. I thought perhaps we could have worked something out. That maybe I could have stayed here. I wouldn't go outside the door, I promise. What? No. No, I thought not. Where are you going? You mean right now? To my room. As for where I'm going, where do you think, Daddy? You know where I have to go as well as anyone. We have to stop her. We can't let her go into that place. It's medieval. It's for shop girls and maids. Kareen, she's our daughter. So what do you suggest? In the absence of, as you call it, the decent thing? Like father, like daughter. You'll never let me forget, will you? have to do something. They want you down in the drawing room. There's someone here. to see me? You remember Father Young, Beth? Beth, I haven't seen you since God knows when. Since you were this high. How have you been keeping? Fine, thank you, Father. We have something to show you, Beth. Uh, what's done is done, and there's no point in recriminations. We have to think of what's best. Now, as I said, we have something to show you, but before I do, I want you to promise me something. Will you promise? What? Not to jump to conclusions before I've finished explaining what we have in mind. We?
What do you think? His name is Neely Scholard. He's a distant relative of mine. No, 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 you hold on to it. He buried his wife about three months ago, God rest his soul. He's only 40 years of age, Beth. Well, 39, his birthday was only last month. Under no circumstance. This is outrageous! I won't do it, I tell you. I won't do it. Don't make up your mind until you meet him. Just meet him, Beth. Beth, you've known me a long time, ever since you were a baby. Now, would I steer you into a situation that I couldn't stand over? Forty years old! I'm 19! Lower your voice, please, Beth. Don't make me do this, Mother. Just meet him, Beth. That's all we ask. No, 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 let her go. That's enough for now. Let her get used to the idea. She'll need a few days at least. Give her back the photograph and you get a chance. Missy, could I have a private word? Please. It's hard. I know. This is hard for me, too. I just wanted to say, you should listen to what they have to say, Missy. At least you'd have the baby with you. What do you mean? In that home, you'd have her for two years. And then one day, no warning, just a few minutes. The only thing you know is they give you the new clothes and you have to dress her and say goodbye. No notice, just a few minutes. Oh, Maeve, I never knew. I just wanted to tell you so you'd listen to them. I want you to have this. What is it? It was something for me to do in the days after I am. Uh, don't... Open it in front of me. Every idea. It's my life. And afterwards, uh, afterwards I'll go away to America or England and you'll all be rid of me. I love you, Beth. I just want what's best for you.
Thank you. Take Cornelius here present for thy lawful wedded husband, according to the right of our Holy Mother, the Church. Beth. Yes. I will, Beth. I will. I, Cornelius. I, Cornelius. Take thee, Elizabeth. Take thee, Elizabeth. For my lawful wedded wife. For my lawful wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forth. From this day forth. Not far now, Mr. Sullivan. Is that the hackney there? That's it, all right, Mr. Sullivan. I know it's a bit battered looking, but... It was the only hackney in old Paris we have to use him. But don't worry, I hope to get some transport of our own in due course. Don't forget what I said. If things get bad, no matter what, you'll write to me. Of course I will. Congratulations. You can keep your congratulations. I must see Sheen, sir. I'm sorry it's such a dreadful day. The weather is not your fault, ma'am. St. John Sullivan. God bless you, Beth. I... I... You're getting soaked. Take this. You need it. Your mother and I will write tomorrow. She means well, Beth. You know that, don't you? As for me, I... I... God bless you, Beth. Keep your eyes to yourself, Shane. Would you like a blanket, Mrs. Scullard? Elizabeth, isn't it? I've one in the boat. Drive. Are you frightened of lightning, Elizabeth?
There's the house. We're nearly home. If you'd been watching where you were going instead of greasing at my wife, you needn't think you're getting paid for this, Shane. We have to walk the rest of the way. Rain! My clothes! Here, take my oilskin. Keep your oilskin. I look after my wife. She's pregnant, isn't she? Here, let me. I can manage. I'll follow on. Are you all right there, Elizabeth? Straight ahead now, across that ditch. Must have had some journey. And you must both be famished. Well, where are your manners? How do you do? My name is Mary. How do you do? My name is Margaret. about you, miss. How did you? My name is Kathleen. Here, Mary. Take the baby. Ooh. Take off those wet things. Elizabeth, isn't it? You're welcome to Lara. I'm your neighbour, Tilly Harrington, down at the cross. Why don't you come and sit down? Crater, you must be exhausted. I'll take these up to the room. Excuse me. Her name was Agnes. She was lovely. Everyone in the parish loved her. Yes, she was lovely. Yes, of course. Her name's Jacinta. Jacinta to her friends. She's a grandchild. She can be a holy terror mind, like them all. Rest yourselves now. Everything's ready for the morning. In this weather. Here's your rug.
all need a bit of getting used to each other. But I'm just across two fields if you ever need anything or just want a bit of a chat. Day or night. All right. Good night, all. Good night, Tilly. Tell me I'll see him in the morning. Right, so. Would you like a sup? It'll warm you. Look, we'll get used to each other. You and me. Sorry, that should have been put away. No, don't, Neely. She's the children's mother. It was nice of him to bring my cases. Mr. Sheehan, is it? man is no friend of yours and mine, even though we are related to Massey Sheen and me. Just ignore him. That family's land grabbers always were and always will be. And, um, there was a bit of trouble about a will. But you'll find it all out quick enough. But none of this need concern you, hmm? You don't want to be hearing about this sort of rubbish right now. Must be exhausted. Are you sure you want? Excuse me, Neely. Could I put this in here? You're not what I expected when Father Young first. You have very nice hair.
gini. Look if you're too tired tonight. Good morning, Neely. Elizabeth. It was a grand day, thank God. When I got home from your place yesterday, I thought the roof was going to come in. Lord knows we've had rain enough this fall to float no Ark. What do you think of that? Isn't Neely Scholar the lucky bastard? But I say now. He'll have his work cut out for a mind in it, huh? Well, broken too by all accounts. Yeah, you'd know a lot about that, wouldn't you? You pair of spanced gobshite. Mummy, she's just in a bad mood. I suppose I have to give her time. I'll be in in a minute to help you with the others, Mary. Will I help you? No, thank you. I think I can manage. You go and get ready for school now. Something wrong? Kitty's going to tell Daddy about the eggs I broke yesterday. I'm going to get into terrible trouble. You mean those eggs I broke yesterday? You're copying me. Don't be mean, Kitty. <laughs> Yours is lovely, Margaret. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
What is it? It's a boy. Neely, aren't you pleased? After all your girls? He's grand. Lassie. I came to pay my respects. Surely come in. Don't think he got enough. He fell asleep in the middle. Lassie. Elizabeth. I dropped in to say congratulations. A boy, is it? It's a boy, yes. If you need anything from the town, I'll be going in again later. Thank you. We have sufficient of everything, thank right. you. Have you decided what to call him? Francis. His name is Francis. It's a good name. Well, congratulations again. I wish you both well. Would that be normal around here, Tilly? Would what be normal? would come in like that to visit a baby. Not many of them would. Massey Sheehan's always been his own man. No, you bugger. Top that pair if you can. <laughs> I'm finished. Queen, is it, huh? You know what queens I'd like to top? <laughs> Easy, nearly easy. He said nothing. Nothing at all. What did you say? How about buying a fella drink scorer? I heard the mayor has phoned. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have no more talking about my wife. What are you looking at? Nothing. I said, what are you looking at? Scotty bit of a farm. You keep your thieving eyes off her. Do you hear me? <laughs> 